Hey, Baba. Yeah, they got uh, two days on shore. And Dad quickly made you some uh, new ones here. Yeah, banana plastics. Okay, this one's for blue green algae. They filter nicely. Got them nice density there. Massive scale. Whoa. Can save all the all the farmers in Australia and the Murray River. Pretty concept. And this is like a ramp, like you, you know, like your rib currents. Yeah. Two boats. Get pulled off uh, a slip. Plenty energy. The rip currents come inside here. This wind swell. This side will put up with blue uh, green algae, micro plastic, bacteria, and yeah, this can really. This is the mega three. This is a uh, mix with the black helix rise in there, Baba. It comes in, it comes in, circulates, goes around, goes to the back, slows down, builds up density, thick density, yeah, and yeah. This is uh, your uh, rip current nano filter. So as the current goes in, it's going to circulate, and then it's going to make a mini geyser on the other side, and then it will go through here and it'll make a mini little geyser over here, and then it'll blade the the the, the, the gap between there starts to filter that nano geyser, and then you get in all your bacteria, your small micro little plastics. This is a big scale, so you can filter large you know, that one in the water. That one there with the, the Mega 5, the same thing. But the Mega 9, the farmers can, uh, the farmers can help, help uh, give water to the, the livestock, and, uh, to the wild animals in the area. The Mega, Mega 9, so the farmers. In the area. So, Baba, they are going to see again tomorrow. So, this is uh, some uh, new one for you to go and play on the river again. And then, uh, we'll do some test samples. We can like, see how the, the micro plastics build up here, and uh, the water just colors, and the algae you know, builds up in density. Mm -hmm. to fix up all the blue algae in the world. Very easy. Very easy. Some big water pools. Some new uh, piping in. Alright. There you go, the Murray River. Back to normal. And then they're going to have to use uh, ice in. Oh, they don't like arson, but uh, they don't like pollution either, eh? and blue green algae. In your water, arson is the got um, silica waxy leaves. So that's the same uh, in your Lake Okeechobee and uh, all your freshwater bodies in the sea, that's phosphorus. So all the little zooplankton and, uh, and, um, and uh, phytoplankton that die, and then they make. Uh, Silica. Silica is like your, all your jelly and this is like uh, the jellyfish make it out of and then they use silica, plants use silica, even cell uses basic silica. It's a form of collagen, like your seaweeds and all that. Basic building blocks. Oh, and people just don't want to use the aquatic vegetation for water. Plants like Wimp and everything else thrown on an uh, aquaponics zone on, uh, on a river and a, and a lake and all that grows, uh, grows lots of roots, lots of roots, massive amounts of roots. Because that's the phosphorus. The phosphorus locks out the uh, ability of the plant to um, suck up the minerals into the foliage. So you'll see always uh, aquaponics, you always see, I call them out fibrous roots. Massive amount of roots, but that's just in how nature works. Plants are supposed to be grown in soil, and aquatic vegetation is supposed to be grown in, uh, in water. And with the Amazon and uh, tropical forest deforestation and, and uh, burning and, and, uh, and uh, chopping the wood down and things like that, and so 
Oxygen. Oxygen is very important, you want it. Oxygen is very important. One, for one thing you need to focus just on oxygen. You focus on the oxygen in your river, your sewage. But the biggest thing by focusing on the oxygen is that you will increase your ozone layer. If you increase your ozone layer, then you, you protect the, the planet, the oceans, and yourself, you feel how hot it is. From the sun's uh, rays. And that ozone layer is vital for your magnosphere. Without a strong ozone layer, when the sun pulses, solar flares in a normal day, it doesn't generate enough pulse into to make the, the, the magnosphere strong enough to reflect the, the sun's gamma rays or, or any other cosmic rays. So the one thing you have to focus on, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. During the creation period with the dinosaurs, there's lots of meteorites hit the earth, lots of radiation in the, in the cells, and then all of a sudden, whoop, all the animals started to grow very large. Trees got humongous. But the reason why they got humongous was they were absorbing the, um, the, the um, all the radiation, radiation in the clay in the soil. So they were growing 24/7. At night time, they were they were using the sun's gamma rays of radiation in the cells to uh, use as a battery cell, a battery for um, for um, photosynthesis. And then daytime, they would double uh, Double dose of the, of the sun as well. So that's why plants say it didn't just grow during the daytime. They were they were flourishing. They were, everything just got humongous. In terms of polar flipping, there was a scientist that art no polar flipping. They don't tell you about the polar flipping, they're also making a little bit of a faux there, but it's fine. Yeah. So, Baba, good morning. Oxygen, oxygen. The main focus, stop all your eco, all your eco worries and eco mental stress. Then you feel your life direct and you could go. But at the moment, so much misinformation of science and it's making the people really feel lonely and suffering. Oh well, so let's talk about the current, around the global current work as well. So they're also making a faux pas there. Okay, so let's go back to see. We'll post this for you.